In this video I am going to share a very interesting project. It is a spy FPV RC car. You can make it easily at home. Using my smartphone I can control this car and here I can watch live video from the car camera. I can drive this car from a distance. It is fully wireless. Now my car is ready, I will add electronic components. For the power of this car, I am using two 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. A step down buck converter. I have adjusted the preset at the voltage to 5 volt. We need 5 volt to run this car. L293D motor driver board. This is an ESP32 CAM module. This small development board has been built Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Our car will work with Wi-Fi. Now I have to connect it to the power and motor driver board. But before it, I have to program it using Arduino IDE. At first quickly showing you how to program it, then I will show you the connection. Programming the ESP32 cam. I have a dedicated video tutorial on this channel about ESP32 cam module programming. You can check it if you are new on ESP32. Anyway, I am telling you the programming process quickly. For programming ESP32 CAM, we need a USB to TTL programmer, a breadboard, the connection for the programming is done. I have used some jumper wires. I have to connect GPIO0 to GND to activate programming mode. Open Arduino ID, go to File, Preferences. Here paste Board Manager URL. All necessary files and URL links are in the video description. Click OK. Go to Tools, Board Manager, here type ESP32, install ESP32 board support, I have already installed, close it. Now open the RC car code, go to Tools, select Board, ESP32 Rover Module, select all programming parameters as same as this. Now connect your ESP32 CAM board to computer. I am using an USB to TTL converter for programming. Here GPIO 0 must be connected to GND. Here in the code put your router SSID and password. Select your COM port and click on upload. Sometimes you need to press the reset button when shows connecting. The code is uploaded, now remove the jumper wires from GPIO 0, open serial monitor on Arduino ID and press the reset button on the CAM board. Now the CAM board is connected successfully to my Wi-Fi router, here showing an IP address. Copy it and note it down. You can check it, go to any web browser and paste it the copied IP address. Here you can see the camera is working. It will work only on the same Wi-Fi network. 
Now my ESP32 cam is ready for work. I have to connect it to the power and motor driver board. Here is the connection diagram. The connection is done. Just open a web browser and type the IP. You can see the live video from the ESP32 cam. Controlling motors. Goodbye and see you soon in the next video.